All right, Slackmaster so like fans, going back to the Emmanuel Private Collection again, starring Natasha Vermeer. We're going to watch the final film in this uh, seven set. It's called Emmanuel, The Sex Lives of Ghosts. Let's check it out. Emmanuel is swimming. She gets a weird feeling. Emmanuel finds this photograph, a large photo, floating in her pool, which is odd. Anyway, she has guests, Lila, Fanny, and I believe Matt. She ended up paying that photo. There seems to be some chemistry between Emmanuel and Matt. Apparently they had a thing once. Meanwhile, Fanny and Lila get a little hot and bothered in the bathroom. Apparently Matt and Lyle aren't having a rough patch. They both cheated. How about Fanny and Emmanuel this time? Can I borrow your tongue? A little mild for my taste. Mmm, you like spice. Mmm, I like it hot. She tells him a story about the people in the painting photo. Manuel suggests they all have separate bedrooms. We should sleep in separate rooms. Well, that's a first. We can do Manuel's and nobody gets laid. Of course, just because they're all alone doesn't mean they're gonna have not gonna have sex. They all have these weird fantasies that kind of take control of themselves. And we see those fantasies played out. And Fanny finding themselves on the couch together. Uh, watch TV. That's a good idea. Maybe 
we should see what else is on. Are there ghosts? Everybody's a little spooked now. Erotic sensation stuff, but uh, is there a holiday in nearby? Um, uh, are you saying you scared? Yeah. Um, I'm with Matt. You are. Yeah. You are. Um, after everything that's happened, I am really not comfortable here. Not with the homicide, suicide stuff. Are Ghosts are talking. Yes. Once they summon us to them, the curse will be lifted. Our bonds will be broken, and we shall have our freedom once more. So, naturally, they're going to have a seance. Which essentially gets everybody hot and bothered. So the four of them had an orgy, although they don't really realize it because I think they were possessed by the love triangle people. It worked. It has been done. The mortals have released us. Go forth, my mistresses, and revel in your freedom. Take heed, though. Emmanuel is mine. So the two ladies in the love triangle are going to possess Lila and Fanny. It's going to work out great for Matt. Can you say threesome? Meanwhile, the male goes, goes and porks Emmanuel. They eventually realize what they've done. Next thing you know, everybody in the house, as well as the three ghosts, are all in the pool having a good time. Manuel escaped from the pool, though, went in the house, and as the ghost was trying to make love to her, she threw the photo in the fire. Friends say goodbye. Us? Us and me? You two are going to move in together? No, it means we're going to be living apart. For a while, anyway. And that ends our film. Yeah, I think we've run the dangers of overindulging our fantasy. Alright, Stock Meister fans, just got finished watching Emmanuel, The Sex Lives of Ghosts. Yeah, that's the real title here. Okay, this is the uh, seventh and final uh, set in the Emmanuel series that starred Natasha Vermeer. And, um,. This film, like a lot of the other ones in this set, uh, dirty, really dirty. I mean, it's not pornography, it's not hardcore. There's definitely some actual oral stuff going on in this movie that was not simulated. This was re There was some real stuff going on here. Again, we had some crotch shots, we had some male nudity. Uh, this one had it all. In fact, Natasha Vermeer herself, who doesn't get overly naked in a lot of these movies, it does in this one. Uh, she shows everything, so... Power to her, so she was a beautiful actress, or beautiful whatever she was. She only did about seven or eight movies, and seven of them were this one, so. So anyway, the plot here is she's living in this villa, or wherever she is, and she finds this painting or photo of a, it looks like an old Japanese couple, and, and their child or something like that, and it turns out, I, I don't know, maybe it was, actually it wasn't a child, I think it was some sort of love triangle thing that was going on, and uh, suddenly these people are like haunting the place, and eventually they possess the people these spirits possess the people in the house. And, of course, she has some house guests, uh, two women and a man. Uh, there's a threesome that goes on. There's a, Later on, there's like an orgy in the pool. And then, of course, at one point, the ghosts are coming back, and then everybody's in the pool naked, uh, seven people. And uh, uh, Emmanuel has to sprint from the pool completely naked and run through the house to try to destroy that photo, which eventually she does. So, anyway, tons and tons of nudity in this movie, and that's exactly why we watch this stuff. We don't watch it for its... Uh, 
uh, artistic qualities. We watch it for the nakedness. And this one has plenty of it. Uh, Beverly Lynn also co-starred in this one. She was in a few of these Emmanuel movies. She was also a hardcore porn actress, although I think just a little bit hardcore. She did um, mostly softcore stuff, stuff that showed up on cable and Skinamax and stuff uh, back in the 90s and 2000s. So anyway, you can get this set. Uh, it shows up on eBay periodically for about 40 50 bucks or so. And um, it's a PAL DVD set and uh, usually comes from Belgium or Poland or somewhere overseas, Germany. I'm not sure what language this one. I think it's Polish, actually. So, Or you can buy these uh, individually. Uh, they are available on PAL DVDs individually, too. So anyway, check this out. Again, it's called Emmanuel, The Sex Lives of Ghosts. Quite a title. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below.